makes physics awesome. So what I'm gonna do is add two more ores, two more motions. Connect, connect, and you can, oh, okay. So yeah, make sure you connect it to the right um, sensors and actuators. And you can actually make this smaller as well. Um, okay, connect that. Now, this would be different, okay? So we had it move on the y-axis before. Now we want it to move on the x-axis. So uh, since this is going to be moving towards the right, and you can see from here that the right is actually on the x-axis, so the value would be positive. So we're going to set this to 0.5. Okay, so we're just going to have the same values, <coughs> just so it goes the same speed. Rotation is obviously going to be on the y-axis. Now, the reason why the rotation here would be on the y-axis and here was on the x-axis is because when you're moving forward, we want the sphere to rotate in this direction, this way, right? So its center, uh, rotation center, would be pretty much the x-axis, as you can see, so it's going to rotate this way. Here, it's going to be the y-axis, uh, so that's why we're going to set this to y-axis, uh, negative 5. Okay, and the reason why it's negative 5 is because actually, I am not 100%. Hold on. Whoa. Make sure the L's are deselected. And you notice it went way, way too fast. So we want to set this to 0 0.05. Okay. And it's not rotating properly, so make sure you put the opposite. 5, 0 0.05 and 5. Okay, there we go. And obviously, we want to add the momentum. It's on the x-axis this time, so it's going to be 10, or force, as it's called. And that is the opposite force. It does get annoying sometimes, um, just trying to get the right force. Right? For whatever reason, it's going the opposite of, like, the force is going the opposite of, oh, yes, deselect that, of course. All right, there we go. Okay, so make sure you deselect the L's. That's what I keep forgetting. Connect um, just the opposite of what you did here. Um, negative 5, negative 0 0.05. Um, here you want it to be set to negative 5, and on the x-axis you want it to be set to negative 10. Deselect L's, and I did not forget this time, so I am happy. And here we have our basic controls. Okay, so you can play around with this uh, sphere. As you can see, it can fall off the plane. Um, you can also notice that it falls off pretty slow, uh, which is unrealistic. If you want to give it more mass, just go to the mass attribute in the physics uh, physics panel there and give it more mass. Let's say we'll give it 100 units, let's say. Um, and now it... If, whoa. Okay, so we need more momentum. Um, if you increase the mass, it's going to need more force to move it. So it's just realistic, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to keep it as one because I don't want to go through a mess of tweaking the force. But you can play around with that, as I said. It's your game in the end. Um, I'm just teaching you how to make it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you found it beneficial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to add a camera to our sphere. Thank you.